Now, your those result. new to occlusion, Mahmoud, why are you checking the excursions first and then checking the MIP? This is a, a, a basic tip, but I think it's, you know, for those who aren't doing it already, they'll be like, oh, wow, that makes so much sense. Mm, yeah, I mean, because if you do your tap tap first, then you got your dot. And then you put the red paper and you get them to grind. They just smear the blue dot that you had everywhere. And it's hard to tell where the actual dot is. So it's easier to do the excursions first and then do the tap, tap, tap. Absolutely. And then you need to document that. My preferred method, I think it's yours as well, is just take an interoral camera photo, right? Then it's on the screen. I don't have to worry about it. If you don't have an interoral camera, you could either just try and remember it or you could sketch it out. Okay, it's really easy. Or you could describe it. You know, you can write a note saying protrusive, contact on adjacent tooth, you know, and really with the tap tap, you're trying to see how far is the MIP contact going to be from my margin? Am I going to, mm. is it going to be on composite? Is it going to be on tooth? And where is it relative to my margin? Because I want the MIP contact at least a millimeter away from my margin. 